To me, Irish people are the funniest in the world. They just are. Oh, this looks amazing. I just love any food that comes with its own home. <laughs> Everyone's a comedian. Anything else? Some greens. What do you think I am? A juggler? <laughs> <laughs> Stunning. Inspirational. Would you look at the brush strokes on that? I think the reason I see comedy in everything is because I was surrounded by it growing up. That's good. You wouldn't know we're 105. You're 105. Between us. <laughs> Do you know what? There's only one word for that. Absolutely cracker. Hi. How are you? In Ireland, one of the greatest compliments you can give someone is to describe them as a character. If you find me pearls, give them to me, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Because as every writer knows, it's the characters you remember long after you've forgotten the story. Fill your heart with Ireland. Discover more at Ireland.com. Eurogold is driven by being the best civil engineering contractor in the Northwest, ensuring its clients are given the highest level of service that they deserve. Eurogold work in a wide range of industry sectors, including house building highways, commercial and industrial build. Lolla Vita is an award-winning, independently run Italian restaurant. Located on Rose Lane in the heart of Liverpool, real Italian style dishes using the best ingredients, skillfully prepared by our chefs. Come and try our serious Italian experience. The Warrington Irish Club, a friendly and welcoming club keeping the Irish culture alive. We have Irish and country music every Saturday night, tribute nights, race nights, charity nights and karaoke. All live sports are shown on big screens. We have snooker, dominoes and crown green bowling teams along with arts and craft. Pop in for a friendly welcome and book your event at the Warrington Irish Club. Give Frank a call on 01925 243 363. Mulligan's Funeral and Monumental Services are a family owned funeral service first established by the late Brian Mulligan in 1996. We provide funeral homes in Gorton, Manchester and Reddish, Stockport and we pride ourselves on giving a friendly and professional service to all the families who use our service. Contact us on 0161 And welcome to the show. This week we're coming to you from the South Hertz Golf Club in the heart of London. We are here with the Galway Association for their Golf Charity Fundraising Day. Of course the Galway Association does wonderful work here in London supporting many charities and in particular the Reach Out Charity which is run by Sean Boylan. The charity cares for our elderly Irish people who have no family, they live on their own and have nobody to care for them and every single penny raised today is going towards a good cause. Three, two, one, go. Seamus, a special day again for the Galway Association. Yes, yeah, come round again. We've got good weather with the help of God. He'll stay with us for the evening. Yeah, absolutely. And of course, look, at today is vitally important. It's a fundraiser, isn't it? It's a fundraiser for Reach Out, uh, the charity that we're associated with, the Galway Association. Yeah, and of course, Brian Byland does wonderful work there. Unreal. He's here, he's here tonight at the dinner yeah. and he's going to give a few words. He's a, it's an exceptional man. Most of us flourish and blossom in this country. And you lot are evidence of that fact. 
But many people who came here as emigrants should never have been asked to leave Ireland. It was painful. And to add to that pain, they didn't have the ability or the words to give expression to their pain and loneliness and despair. And they're still here, hidden away. Barbara, I know it's been a really busy year so far for you, and I know you've, you've still got quite a lot to do this year. We have, yeah. I mean, today now is one of our big days, and we've got two more golf days, one at the end of June and the other one in August. And then we have our dinner dance, our annual dinner dance, which is our big event of the year in October this year. My goodness, there's no let up, is there? There's so much organisation goes into all these events. There is, but we've a great support team, to be fair, and, you know, we've fantastic sponsors, everybody that was here today, all the teams that have come out to play, everybody that sponsored the hole, sponsored the pin, put in raffle prizes, put in auction prizes. I mean, really, we're very, very lucky as an association. To be fair, you know, the Galway people are very good, but then we get support from other counties and things. I mean, the Irish people, to be honest, as a community, really help and look after each other. I visited an old man that I used to take out on his wheelchair, courtesy of the Galway Association's funds, to a pub for a drink now and again. He talked about his community of origin, of the great people, people suffering grinding poverty. If he could, He'd take his little pension and go home and share it with his people in Ireland. He told me, tell them that I'd sleep in the ditches to be with my people again. That's my heaven. And he said, the good Lord won't be offended by my words. He will know what's in my heart. We have a great uh, man, Brian Boylan's his name, and he looks after all the monies raised for Reach Out. That runs and helps um, people that have come on hardship, helps with a drop-in centre down on Holloway Road. Anybody that needs, you know, something to eat or a bed or whatever we need to be organised. No, you've got a great group with the Galway Association. I know there's lots of you involved, lots of people involved here today. So many things to do, isn't it? Everybody's got to do their own part. Yeah, I mean, everybody does a bit, and I think it's because we have a very strong committee and a great support from all the committee. Everybody gets stuck in, and so it takes the burden off any individual, really. And you've chosen a lovely uh, course today, of course. South Hearts, yeah, they've been fantastic. The staff and everything here have just couldn't have done enough for us. We were here tonight putting up the banners. Uh, Colleen sorted out all the balloons and everything. I mean, we're very, very lucky, to be fair. Very well supported. Tell me how's the golf going today because your friends here have been telling me a little few stories. <laughs> they can tell them away. <laughs> They're telling lies if they said it's good. <laughs> it's, it's the opposite. <laughs> you play here, you play all over the country, you go to Ireland, you go to Spain. You must be good at it. No, no good at it. It's just a social game, it's for fun only. Is that it? That's it. That's yeah. it. <laughs> Introduce me to your friends. Who's this man here? Tom Feely. Yeah, he came from Spain last night, yeah. For a very special day for Seamus O'Grady, yeah. Yeah. And for all the gags. Well, it's great to see you, great to see you here and enjoying the day. Yeah, and hopefully I'll play a bit better from here in. Well, look at that. <laughs> we, we brought you the note. Yes, yeah, yeah. this man? Jerry McCullough from Tyrone. Hello Martin. How are you doing? How is the golf going for you? Not bad today. Not yeah. bad. It's great company. 
Uh, it's lovely to see Tom. I spend a bit of time with Tom in Spain through the winter and uh, it's lovely to be back playing with him again, you know. And if you can play golf on a day like today, you've got no chance in the winter. Well, <laughs> you can say that one again. <laughs> get a, every, I need every bit of roll on I can get. <laughs> Have John Wilson of uh, Belmullet. Oh, John, me old man. Oh, the best, I'm the best corner of Ireland, Belmullet. Did you, did you watch RT last Friday evening? No, but you tell me about it. See the cows swimming onto the island. Oh, right. I'm about two miles from there. <laughs> <laughs> well, we've been over to Belmullet to the racing on the beach there in Gisala. Oh, yeah, you didn't make any money there, I bet. <laughs> you want to go to Cairn and play golf in it, that's what you. That it, yeah. yeah. Now tell me, John, I, I really want to know, I know you, you've got an honest face. How is Seamus shaping up with this golf? Is he any good or what? Oh, he's rubbish. <laughs> Seamus is not. <laughs> Jerry had a three-way bypass last year, only this time last year, and he was on death's door on three or four occasions, and he's out here playing golfers today. It says a lot for the old medical job, and it's great to have him here. Thanks to Bart's Hospital and all the staff there, and I intend to run a golf day for them later this year, oh, you know, well and uh, I couldn't praise them highly enough for what they've done for me, you know. Yeah. Um, I'm not too, looking too bad for a man that died six times last oh, year. <laughs> and this That's man, fantastic. if I say, he's, his 80th birthday is very soon. PJ, you're here today, supports the Galway Association. Yes, I'm here. I'm back this day all the year. I come every year for Sean Buck. Sean Buck is a very good friend of mine, and, and uh, unfortunately, he never was with us any longer, and, and I always support this day, always, and I ever will. Of course, it's very sad to see that he's not here today, but you're playing in his memory for the Sean Buck Memorial. 100%, yeah, 100%. And it's always a great day. They get great, there's great people that come out here every, every, for every occasion. You know, anything, anything involved with Sean Buck is, is always a good occasion. He he done so many he done so much for without saying anything he done so much for Irish people in in London was that went unrecognised yeah. by him he didn't he never broadcasted what he done you know but he was a great man yeah. fantastic man and how is the golf going today ah uh, poor <laughs> very poor but we're enjoying it it's a lovely day we have our health and we're enjoying it a little board tells me though you're better at football because you were a very good footballer in your, in your younger days. Uh, I used to years ago, but that's a long, long time ago. I even forgot that myself now. <laughs> yeah, I played in Connemara Con Con Gales in, in, in Boston for, for 79, 18, 81. And, and I played in London for the Geraldines and we done bits and pieces. We played for Kiltane. I played for Kiltane in, in, in County Mayo, which was quite enjoyable at yeah. the time. We were young that time, that's a long time ago. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's a long time ago. Oh, good days, good days, good days. Lots of Irish in London them times. Absolutely, it's changed so much, as you know yourself, from, from the dance halls are all gone, the Galtimore, the National, all, they're all gone now. They, most Irish men in this country probably met their wives in, in, in all the dance halls here, you know, so it was, it was um, but there's, no, there's not many places to go now at the moment, you know, it's, it's, but it's still enjoyable. You know, these days like this bring everybody, get everybody together yeah. and, and uh, meet friends that we met, haven't met for years. And it's it's nice. It's very nice. That's so important. Very important. Absolutely important. And uh, and to be at this occasion for Sean Burke, and I must I cannot say enough about him. He was one of the finest men I've ever met. An absolute gentleman of the highest caliber. And if he couldn't do you a favour, he wouldn't do you any harm. Yeah. And I mean that from my heart. He was a gentleman. He was. Gentleman. And we know that Bob, his brother, is playing here today. Absolutely, yes, another gentleman. And everyone, everyone that family was gentleman. Every single one of them. I knew them all.
It's been a very busy day out around this beautiful golf course, so I need to have a sit down and have a nice cup of coffee. So while I'm having this, we're going to take a little break and we'll see you in a few minutes. To me, Irish people are the funniest in the world. They just are. Oh, this looks amazing. I just love anything that comes with its own home. <laughs> Everyone's a comedian. Anything else? Some greens. What do you think I am? A juggler? <laughs> <laughs> Stunning. Inspirational. Would you look at the brush strokes on that? I think the reason I see comedy in everything is because I was surrounded by it growing up. That's good. You wouldn't know we're 105. You're 105. Between <laughs> us. Do you know what? There's only one word for that. Absolutely, Absolutely cracker. Hi, how are you? In Ireland, one of the greatest compliments you can give someone is to describe them as a character. If you find any pearls, give them to me, OK? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, come on! You couldn't run the leg to yourself! Because as every writer knows, it's the characters you remember long after you've forgotten the story. Fill your heart with Ireland. Discover more at Ireland.com. Eurogold is driven by being the best civil engineering contractor in the Northwest, ensuring its clients are given the highest level of service that they deserve. Eurogold work in a wide range of industry sectors including house building, highways, commercial and industrial build. Lala Vita is an award-winning independently run Italian restaurant located on Rose Lane in the heart of Liverpool, real Italian style dishes, using the best ingredients, skillfully prepared by our chefs. Come and try our serious Italian experience. The Warrington Irish Club, a friendly and welcoming club keeping the Irish culture alive. We have Irish and country music every Saturday night, tribute nights, race nights, charity nights and karaoke. All live sports are shown on big screens. We have snooker, dominoes and crown green bowling teams along with arts and craft. Pop in for a friendly welcome and book your event at the Warrington Irish Club. Give Frank a call on 01925 243 363. Mulligan's Funeral and Monumental Services are a family owned funeral service first established by the late Brian Mulligan in 1996. We provide funeral homes in Gorton, Manchester and Redditch, Stockport and we pride ourselves on giving a friendly and professional service to all the families who use our service. Contact us on 0161 432 0809 Welcome back. This week we're coming to you from the Galway Association in London who are holding their special golf fundraising day and I've been joined by one of the main cornerstones of the Galway Association, that's Bobby Burke. Bobby, a very special day today here in London. A fantastic day and, and the weather has made it and we had a great turnout. We had, like, we had 21 teams and six lads came over from Ireland. They were friends of my family and they came over to play for the Sean Burke Trophy today which I'm very proud of them and they're really good men, good lads. Well, of course, so many people while we're out there on the course today spoke to us and mentioned, of course, Sean. They still feel that he's here with us. And, of course, he is in many ways in his spirit and we're playing for the special trophy today. Yeah, it's a great honour that the Galway Association are playing this trophy for Sean because Sean did so much in his time for Galway and the trophy is just a, a special piece of artwork and... You know, it's lovely to win it, and I was lucky enough to win it last year. We're presenting the Sean Burke Trophy to the winner, who is going to be announced in a second. So we might as well bring him up and put him out of his misery. This is his second time up here in three years. Mark Ryder. <laughs> what I want to say to you is thank you all for coming today and making it such a, a, a brilliant day. We had a 
very fine day, and this is our first time in South Hertz, I think. And we've been well looked after here. Kieran, Kieran and John Foley have made it very, very comfortable for us here. John, it's been another good day for the Galway Association here in London. Yeah, it's, we, you know, we've been blessed with the weather. Um, the course was in great condition. We had a nice little bit of breeze, so it didn't seem too hot, and uh, everyone got round quickly. And when you have 21 teams playing, you don't want people hanging around forever, but it's, it went really smoothly, and everyone had a great day. Now, I know yourself and Kieran has been working really hard to get this golf uh, competition played here on a Sunday, but it's been a huge success today. It has been a success, it's been fantastic. Um, a lot of clubs obviously want to protect their members and um, a lot of you know courses being shut on a Friday afternoon is not so popular but the Sunday afternoon came up to us on the bank holiday so we've taken advantage of that and it's been a great success. Kieran, another great day. Yeah, it was. Uh, you know, we were, out, were members of the golf club, four of us and uh, you know, 105 points. Uh, we had a great, uh, I had great partners out there: uh, Scott Young and John Charlton and Paul Beadle. Scott's a two handicapper, five birdies, and we had a couple of birdies each, which which the scores uh, renovated into the 105 points that we had today. I think you've got a great reputation here because it was no shock that you guys got the top score today because uh, all around the room they were kind of expecting it. Uh, yeah, well, we're all members of this golf club and, uh, you know, it's, it's proud for me and John Foley to bring the Galway uh, the President's uh, Association here to, uh, to South Hearts because I've been in Hendon for a few years and we worked hard to get it here for a Sunday and we'd, normally this club would not allow uh, to have a society on a Sunday, but we pulled it off uh, to have it on, on, on today, so it was brilliant. I'm a Mayo man, but my wife is a Connemara woman and a, a good Galway woman, and obviously John and me are great buddies and great friends, and we organise trips. We're very involved with Galway. I've been very involved for, up to, up to this year, I was very involved for about eight years. Uh, John has taken the helm now for a few years, hopefully, and uh, hopefully that uh, it'll get stronger and stronger. <laughs> Richard, tell me a little bit about South Hearts Golf Club. Uh, South Hearts Golf Club was formed in 1899, um, has a long history, uh, two very well respected club professionals over the year, six times Open champion Harry Varden, as well as Ryder Cup winning captain Di Rees. We've got two, two courses, so we have the 18-hole Varden course as well as the 9-hole Rees course. Um, today the Galway Association are playing on the 18-hole Varden course. It must take so much time to keep this golf course in such beautiful condition. We have a great team of seven, uh, seven green staff led by our head greenkeeper Sean Brocklehurst. Um, he works tirelessly to keep the course presented well for all the members throughout the year. Seven day membership is currently full um, and there is a, a waiting list. However, we still have spaces for five day members and welcome applications from, uh, from anyone who's wishing to join. If people want to know a little bit more about this beautiful golf club, how can they find you? Are you on Facebook? We're on Facebook and Instagram, as well as our club website, www.southheartsgolfclub.co.uk. You've had a big auction in there tonight. Lots of people contributed to it. And, of course, fair play to yourself. You brought a great signed Arsenal shirt with you as well. I take it you're an Arsenal supporter. I am, yeah. But, uh, you know, kind of... Uh, it's been a it's been a good season, but obviously a disappointing end. But um, luckily, we have a few Arsenal um, ex-players here. We have George Armstrong, Frank McClintock, we have David Dean, but also we have good friends at Arsenal who help us out for any charity events. And uh, there's a lady called Lynn Cheney who we contact, and she kindly sends us the shirts for any charity thing we have. So it's been a really good um, for her to help us out with that. Here we go guys, looking and smiling. Bobby, you and all your family have done so much with the Galway Association down the years. They've been the cornerstone of the association for many, many years. 
No, we we do our bit, but there's, there's fantastic lads in Galway here, and they all, everyone helps. It's not just us alone. Uh, you know, we have we have fantastic network here, and uh, we have a lot of we have a Galway association, and we have 11 members in the committee now, and every one of them are one is as good as the other. And what we have at the moment is a very young crowd up the top, and old fellows like me can take a back <laughs> a backward step from now on. The young crowd are so sophisticated now with all the technology that's around. Fantastic to see them the way that they do the work now in, in 10 minutes, what we should take two hours to do. Oh, we had a lovely four ball out there today, really enjoyed it. The golf wasn't great, but it was good fun and you know the weather made the whole thing. I know that this year has been a tough year for you uh, with, with family bereavement. Well, I lost my sister in America and we were over there before Christmas and we said our goodbyes and then we buried her after Christmas. She was only a year older than me, it was, it's hard, but you know, she was a fantastic lady. She achieved a lot in her young life. She actually ran 63 marathons, she did every state in America. And when I was over there, the family gave me half the medals to bring home. And I have them in my house now and it's, uh, I go down and look at them very, I go down and look at them most evenings. I think of all the running she did to get them. There's some beautiful medals and they're fantastic and eventually I'll have the 63 medals they told me when they will give them all to me and we can display them over here or display them in Ireland or someplace that will, they will be seen. They won't be in a drawer, they'll be seen. Brendan, many congratulations, of course, the new chairman of the Galway Association. Thanks very much for having me. It's a challenge, I suppose, I didn't expect to take up, but we were at a meeting and a little bit of pressure, I decided we'll, look at, we'll give it a year anyway to see how it goes and hopefully everything will work out well for us. So. Yeah, well, I'm sure it will. Look, you've got loads and loads of experience at this kind of work and uh, look, it's great to see you in chairman as the Galway Association. I have the ex experience of being involved in the GA more than the, the associations, even though I would have attended all their functions from about 1969 onwards, I would have been, I don't think I missed any of the Galway Durham dances. Sean Burke was actually a very good friend of mine and he'd always get the call that when the event was on and he was always supportive of the GA in his own way. Sean was actually a great man to us, like, you know. The, the ABC, I suppose, was a, a big baby for the GA that took off with starting at 400 where you have two and a half thousand children playing over the four days. We have the schools heavily involved in London and we have the clubs. But what I'm delighted for is to see the Northern Games take off. We were trying, you know, trying to get it off the ground and fair play to Nola Sullivan and Sean Hopkins. They've got it across the line this the second year. We came, I came here in 1967, got involved with St. Gabriel's Holland Club and we continued there right up to the present day. I suppose unfortunately last week we were buried, buried a great play, former player and mentor and great supporter of the Gables Club, Parry Coolhan from Ahaska. Unfortunately, he got a stroke a couple of weeks ago and we buried him on Tuesday there, which was a big loss to the Gables Holland Club and the GA in general. I know that uh, while um, a good friend of yours was heavily involved here and of course president of the GA for a number of years as well, Paddy Johnson has returned to Donegal and I know you'd like to say hello to him tonight. Yeah, Paddy was a great GA man, a, a man from Offaly, was involved at all levels here, coaching the games and president of the GA in Britain. Um, Self and Sheila were great friends of all the GA people in Britain and I suppose at the present time Paddy is not in the best of health and we'd like to wish him well himself and Sheila and hopefully he make a good recovery. It's been a fantastic day here with the Galway Association and a big thank you to everybody who came along to support this great cause. We hope you've all enjoyed the show at home tonight. We'll be back next Thursday evening with the Irish in the UK. Until then, take good care and thank you all for watching. <laughs>